this is a quick demo on how to get a hard drive motor running from a model ESC controller and an Arduino using a potentiometer to control the motor speed. Um, firstly you have to take your broken uh, hard drive apart, in this case a Mac store, um, taking the cover off so you can see the motor spin and if you turn it over and then take the circuit board off you'll see the motor connection point here which has four wires which you might think is unusual for a three phase motor um, three of them are the actual phases and because they're connected in a star format um, internally there's a center tap point which is brought out on this fourth connection and luckily because the, gl the glue is clear you can see through it and see that the actual miniature wire going to it is made up of three wires twisted together indicating it's the center tap not one of the other main three phases so after correctly identifying those connecting them up to the um, ESC and in turn connecting that to the Arduino and loading a sketch up um, we can control the motor uh, the other interesting point is the well, most of the electric speed controllers have a BEC which is a battery elimination circuit so it will take the main pack voltage and generate about 5 volts I haven't measured it properly yet um, which is sufficient to run the Arduino uh, in a model that would run the, the receiving gear so I don't need the USB leader and external supply on there um, connect the, so the, the sequence of running is to connect the power the controller arms and then we're able to control it so connect the power up there's a barely audible beep that indicates this is working uh, on a model motor that's far larger uh, a far louder beep so it's gone through its arming sequence and now twisting the potentiometer the motor spins and it's controllable so if we increase the potentiometer to maximum the motor will speed up and then twisting it back to zero again the motor s slows down and stops so that's how to connect a hard drive motor up to a model control ESC and an Arduino